Figs are an exotic treat that can be enjoyed fresh or dried. Their delicate texture and sweet flavor make them a popular snack food and a healthier alternative to sugary sweets. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lisa with LowCarbHack.com. In today's video, I'll be discussing figs and the many health benefits associated with them. Over at Low Carb Hack, we believe the foods we eat shouldn't be an unfathomable mystery. That's why I've done all the research for you. You may be wondering about the carbohydrate content of figs and whether they're keto-friendly. Or perhaps you're curious about the calorie content. Well, stick around because we're about to get into all that and more. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click that alert notification. That way you'll get notified whenever we publish valuable content on our channel. Without further ado, let's talk about the fruit of the ficus tree, figs. Those following the ketogenic diet may be wondering, are figs keto-friendly? Figs, along with most other dried fruits, are high in carbs and natural sugar. For this reason, figs don't fall under the approved foods for a ketogenic diet. It's best to avoid them or only consume them in moderation. It's also best to stick with fresh figs as they're lower in carbs. While it's okay to enjoy one or two small fresh figs on a keto diet as a treat, be careful not to overindulge. Eating too many figs in one sitting could cause you to exceed your daily carb limit, ultimately preventing ketosis. Although figs do not fit into a low-carb diet plan like keto, you may be following a different diet plan such as a low-fat diet or a calorie reduction plan. In these cases, eating figs is totally fine as they're low in fat and calories, as long as they're consumed in moderate amounts. If you love figs, you can probably get away with including a few in most diets other than low-carb plans. Like I mentioned before, fresh figs are not as high in carbs as dried figs. Although they contain natural sugars and carbs, both fresh and dried figs are good for you. In fact, they have a number of health benefits, which I'll discuss soon in this video. If you're looking to shed pounds, figs can actually make a great replacement for unhealthy snacks. So why not swap out your candy and have a fig instead? How many carbs are in figs? Fresh figs contain 8 grams of sugar and 5.4 grams of carbs per medium fig. Dried figs are harder to estimate because of the many different varieties, but they can contain up to 12 grams of carbs per fig. How many calories are in figs? One large fresh fig has just 47 calories. One dried fig contains only 21 calories and there are 74 calories in a 100 gram serving of figs. Let's take a look at the health benefits of eating figs. Figs are very low in saturated fat, cholesterol, and sodium. They're also an excellent source of polyphenols, powerful antioxidants in the form of flavonoids that work to detoxify the body. Figs are also rich in alkaloids, triterpenoids, and vitamin C compounds that have anti-diabetic, anti-cancer, and antimicrobial properties. Figs are quite a nutritional powerhouse, and if you consume them regularly, they could help lower your risk of chronic diseases. In fact, one research study discovered important antioxidant and anti-cancer properties in participants who took dried coarse fig powder over a period of time. Figs are a good source of micronutrients like calcium, magnesium, and potassium. The potassium and calcium that is rich in figs are vital nutrients for muscle function. The magnesium found in figs regulates blood pressure and supports enzyme reactions. Vitamin K is also abundant in figs, an important building block used by the body for blood coagulation and wound healing. Now, some fun facts about figs. Figs come from the ficus species, of which there are 750 known varieties in the world. 
And there are as many distinct species of fig wasp, an insect that co-evolved to pollinate and fertilize each species of ficus. Among the different fig species are trees, vines, shrubs, and epiphytes. There are species called strangler figs that grow differently. Their roots grow downward from the trees, which ultimately kills and replaces them, hence the name strangler figs. The largest banyan fig tree on record was planted in India and continues to grow today, spanning four acres. Fig trees are a common species in many rainforests. They provide figs all year round and are an important food source for thousands of animal species as well as humans. Fig trees were once believed to be flowerless because of the tree's flowers hidden inside of the fruit. The fruit itself is the blossom containing hundreds of tiny seeds inside each fig. Figs are also documented in every major modern religious text, including the Holy Bible, the Quran, and the Torah. Figs are central to many creationist stories, and perhaps this is the reason why they're known as the fruit of the gods. In the early Olympics, figs were given to the winners as prize medals. Figs are part of the mulberry family. Many cultures in Africa, Asia, and South America have learned to turn the bark of fig trees into a cloth material used to produce clothing and paper. Ugandans still produce cloth from the bark of trees even today. You may be wondering, are figs high in fiber? Well, figs are a pretty good source of dietary fiber, one fig contains 3% of your daily recommended amount of fiber, and one ounce of dried figs contains 3 grams of fiber. What about the sugar in figs? Well, they have a high glycemic index, coming in at an estimated glycemic load of 44. Figs are made up of 55% sugar, which is the highest sugar content of all the fruits. Depending on the size and type, and whether they're dry or fresh, one fig can contain anywhere from 3 to 9 grams of sugar. Figs, particularly the dried variety, fall into the type of fruit that diabetics should avoid because of their concentrated sugar content. Did you know that figs can be used to treat constipation? It's true. Figs can assist you in making healthy, regular bowel movements because of their fiber content. Dried figs have more dietary fiber than most other common fruits. Due to their natural laxative effects, dried figs are often used in the treatment of constipation. Women should aim to get 25 grams of fiber daily, while men should aim to consume around 28 grams of fiber to keep their bowels moving regularly. A handful of fresh or dried figs, about 3 to 5 figs, provides 5 grams of dietary fiber which is about 20% of your daily requirements. Figs, whether fresh or dried, are a great way to achieve your daily valuable fiber to support healthy digestion and regularity. Do you ever experience a sore tongue or a burning sensation in your mouth after eating fresh figs? You may have noticed this side effect if you eat a lot of figs, and you may have wondered the cause. Well, this is due to the substance in the skin of the fig called physin. Your tongue may feel burned from exposure to physin, the proteolytic enzyme that breaks down proteins. Some individuals complain of having a sore mouth and tongue after eating figs because they're sensitive to physin. If your reaction is severe, it may indicate a fig allergy. If you're new to figs or a person who suffers from allergies, it's best to just try one or two to start and then wait to make sure you don't have a reaction to the fruit. Since most of the physin is contained in the fig's skin, the best way to avoid this burning sensation is to spoon out the inner part of the fig and eat it separately, disposing of the skin. The less ripe a fig is, the more physin it contains. Therefore, choose more ripe figs to avoid this burning tongue after effect. If a fig is firm, it's not ripe enough. So how do we pick the best figs to buy? When purchasing fresh figs in bulk, look for ones that are clean and dry with unbroken skin. 
Avoid figs that are too firm as they have not yet fully ripened. Good figs should be soft, smooth, and pliable to the touch. Avoid purchasing figs that are wet, dirty, split open, or mushy. Now, I'd like to turn it over to you. What's your favorite way to enjoy figs? Do you include them in your diet? Which low-carb fruit alternatives do you enjoy instead of figs? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. For more details about figs and many other foods, please visit www.lowcarbhack.com or just click the link in the description box for up-to-date information on nutrition, the keto diet, and tons of delicious low-carb recipes. All right, low-carb hackers, I hope I've helped you figure out figs. No matter where you are on your journey, remember to love your figure and don't hide behind the fig leaf. See you next time. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Share it and tell your friends about it. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.